Now, y'all already know what time it is. It is time for the mess, so let's get into it. And what's going on, you guys? What's going on? What's going on? This be your boy, Scotty by Nature TV, and we're here for a brand new episode of Yay! Yeah! for the mess okay and we are here to spill some basketball wives tea yes indeed we are finally getting some tea about the basketball wives i got it from the bbwt inc page they were posting and deleting like crazy but bitch a nigga like me is quick with it i screenshotted everything they post just about okay so we're gonna get right on into it now um before we get into anything else in regards to basketball wives let's get into some promotion real quick let's promote two things that i got coming up very soon let's get into it All right, you guys, and those were the promos for my two up-and-coming shows that will be on the Scotty by Nature TV channel. Now, the first one will be the Whether You Like It or Not panel. It will be the third season, and we will be covering the Real Housewives of Atlanta and Basketball Wives, okay? We will be hosting both of those shows. And this panel stars myself. Um, giving you the real tea, um, jo um, Josiah's World TV, Yacrates, Really Be TV, and Simply Sakina. But not only will it feature a six, it will also feature a brand new peach holder. Not really Pete Chola, but brand new panelists. Okay, she will be officially in the building, and that person is Brandy Chanel. Now she came into the fold late last um season as um as a guest panelist she'll come up she was popping here and there towards the end as a guest panelist alongside um my cousin reggie and chocolate beauty so she'll be back as a main panelist and reggie will be back as a pop-up guest but not only will reggie be popping up on the whether you like the not panel he will also be hosting the um influence with scotty and reggie artiste it will be a musical based show and a lot of you guys have wanted me to talk about a lot of music on my channel because you know i love music so it'll be a 10 episode show about music and music only the two of us will be discussing it and it will be a it'll be on for 10 weeks and um we should start filming sometime next month so hopefully it comes out late march early april it will be on for 10 weeks and i'm very excited about it okay and not only that roast review will be back which starts myself, Terrence, and Josiah. We started off this standalone panel talking about Portia's Family Matters, but now, now this time around, we'll be talking about Candy and the Gang and Love and Marriage Huntsville, okay? So be on the lookout for Rosa Review. It will be coming back in March, okay? I got a lot coming for this channel, so be on the lookout for it. Now it's time for us to get into some Basketball Wives tea. Now, as you guys already know, Basketball Wives has been on the way for a very long time they started filming its 10th season last year last summer and um it was a it was slated to come out early 2022 they, they were supposed to put out a trailer in december and we were supposed to get the show in january but now january has come and gone february is pretty much over with now and we still have no basketball wives show but apparently there's been some tea finally some tea have been dropping now we do know that i reported on the show um late last year talking about the um talking about some you know altercations that was going on with the cast members and things of that nature mainly malaysia and brooke and all of that stuff and malaysia being iced out and stuff like that but there has been some more tea that was dropped today and we're gonna expand on it just a little bit we're gonna talk about what we got it ain't a lot but um we gonna talk about it um pretty much uh so we're gonna get into it real quick so i'm uh, honestly i cannot believe um um i can't believe that i'm excited about it but once i found out that evelyn was not coming back i was back on board brand and brandy was coming back too so i was definitely back on board okay um 
So we're about to go ahead and get into the tea, the small droplets of tea that we got. I know it's not a lot, but we're going to work with what we got. Anything, any type of tea that we could get, I'm going to report on it because we're all waiting on the show. Now let's get into the first batch of tea. Now um, person asked, in my mind, this season is canceled at this point, but the BBT Inc. responded with three different teams of producers were brought in. So it's like a revolving door. That's why the season is behind. They fired the original producers and got newbies. Not, not don't know much about, I don't know what the hell that was supposed to mean, but basically they got a new set of producers and that's why the show has been pushed back because, um, they got some new producers. So that's what happened. That's why we ain't seen the show yet. Okay. So the next drop of tea we got is Brooke got into an altercation with the sisters, meaning, meaning Nia and Noria, those damn irrelevant ass twins that they brought on the show last season that called themselves having an issue with OG from the moment they walked through the door. So Brooke had an altercation with them, and then she had an altercation with Malaysia. So none of the ladies wanted to film with Malaysia. No, no, none of the ladies besides the sisters and Jackie wanted to film with Malaysia. The ladies wanted to ice out Malaysia. So we're going to stop right there for a quick second and talk about that real quick. So basically, Brooke Bailey is really getting into a lot of shit. OK, now she's into it with those twins and I don't give a damn who and who into it with them bitches. I, I don't even want I don't even know why they even back. OK, that's, so that's number one. I don't even know what they back for. But she didn't got into it with them girls and then she got into it with Malaysia. And what's really funny is none of these women want to film with Malaysia at this point besides those twins and Jackie. So all I got to say is this. So how does it feel being in the same predicament that you put OG in la the last two seasons? How does it feel, Malaysia? How does it feel, bitch? That's what I want to know. I don't feel sorry for Malaysia now one bit. I don't feel sorry for Malaysia at all. The way she sat up there and treated, uh, treated OG and put her in a position where she couldn't get her checks. Well, she could get her checks, but she couldn't get no storyline and stuff like that. She exiled that girl put her on ice now these girls is doing the same thing to malaysia so i don't care nothing about it keep icing her ass out keep icing her out i don't care nothing about it that's what she get that is what she gets karma is a bitch malaysia I swear to you, Karma is a bitch. And I hate that you had to experience it. And this is coming from a person that really loved Malaysia at one point. Like, if y'all was watching my reviews, y'all know that I used to love me some Malaysia. Y'all know that I used to love me some Malaysia up and down. Y'all know I did. Y'all know I used to go up for Malaysia. Y'all know this already. I used to love Malaysia. I used to defend her tooth and nail against anybody that was coming from Malaysia. You could not come from Malaysia on my channel because I was always going to defend her. She could never do no wrong to me. But it's like I started seeing her for her for, for her works for a long time. Like right around season seven, I started seeing her for her works. And I think what really put me out with her was when she started... When she really started getting real tight with Evelyn and Shawnee and really put CC to the through CC under the bus for the likes of them and Kristen. And it just made Malaysia look bad. Like she had this whole thing about her being loyal to people and shit like that. But come to find out that bitch wasn't loyal at all. So I don't see it for Malaysia. And I'm glad they doing what they're doing to her. I can't wait to this show come back so I can read and go to hell in on her. I can't wait. But you know what? Somebody said that Malaysia was a shitty person. I'll never forget it. I think it was season four. A Basketball Wives LA. I remember watching it and I was tweeting. That's back when I was on Twitter all the time. So I was tweeting during the show and I remember Camilla saying, it's funny how Malaysia saying something about a good friend when she shitted on me, she shitted on Bambi, she shitted on blah, blah, blah. I remember her saying it. I wish I could find a tweet. But she said that. I remember it plain this day and people were coming at her out of the woodwork for coming at Malaysia, but she didn't give a damn about it. She said, how you gonna come at me about a bitch I know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I don't care what y'all got to say. Malaysia ain't shit. That's basically what Camilla said. So yeah, and that was, that was, that was what, what, what? Messy, okay? Pretty messy, okay? So we're finna go into what's next on the, on the list, okay? So next up is Malaysia films with her family and Zell. Malaysia refused to give Brooke her five minutes of fame. So it's to the point to where Malaysia is on a film with her family in Zell. <laughs> First of all, why is Zell here? Like, 
That's what I'm trying to figure out. Why is Zell here? Why do... <laughs> Why does she think we want Zell to be here? I'm just trying to understand. Like, I get it. These girls don't want to film with you, but you're going to film with Zell. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to film with Zell. Girl, bye. Like, girl, bye. Like, I don't even know why he's here. But, you know, Zell love to be up under some women all the time and then turn around and disrespect them and clown them and do everything under the sun with them child. So, I don't know. Like, Z like. Oh, God, she filming with Zell. And I'm pretty sure Zell finna get all up in women business and insert himself in something that ain't got nothing to do with him. Y'all already know what Zell gives. So who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? Okay. But that's pretty much it with that. She, so basically, she's going to be filming with her sister, Crystal, filming with her children. And then she's going to film with Zell because don't nobody really want to film with her outside of Jackie and Nia and Noria. This is pretty much it. Okay. So what's next? Okay. Malaysia and Brandy got into it. Malaysia and Jackie are good, but Jackie Christie is the peacemaker this time. Okay, so now it's Malaysia and Jackie are good, which they are. They did, you know, make amends um at that last um on their last COVID special that they called a season. They did make amends. So yeah, I can say that they are good now. But we already know that her and Brandy got into it. We're going to see the fallout of their relationship on screen. And that's something that I cannot wait to see. I cannot wait to see these people um, go at it. Because we want to know why Brandy and Malaysia fell out. We definitely want to know why. Because they used to be very, very close. So I want to know what the hell made them fall out. You know what I mean? Like, I want to know what the reason is. It got to be more than just her getting with the girls that want to kick them off the show and take food off their table. It got to be more to it than that. So we got to see. But yeah, Malaysia and Brandy got into it and Jackie Christie is not a peacemaker. But when they say Jackie Christie is the peacemaker, what that really means is Jackie is really straddling the fence and she don't know where she's staying with nobody. So she just going to hop her ass in the middle because that's the safest place to be when it really ain't the safest place to be. But you get my drift. So yeah, that's basically what they mean about Jackie being a peacemaker because she don't know how to be no damn peacemaker. Let's just be honest. She don't. She don't know to be no damn peacemaker. So that's that's just that on that. Okay. So next up is a cast has been meeting with castmates outside of cameras to create fights and storylines. Guess the cast member. I say Duffy. I say Duffy. Because I don't see what she's going to bring. I don't know what they're bringing her back for. Like, I don't know what they're bringing her back for anyway. Like, I didn't have a problem with Duffy, but um, I don't know what they're bringing her back for, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. But we're definitely going to see. We're, de we're definitely going to see. And it is what it is, okay? So that that's the, that was the next thing. I ain't really got much on that. Um, one of the cast members is dating a well-known rapper. I don't know who the hell that could be because I ain't heard about nobody on that cast dating no rapper. So is it Jennifer? It's only time will tell. What's her name lied about her breakup with her husband just for a storyline? British. British. That's definitely who I think it is. British. Then she get married to Lorenzo. Then wasn't they having some beef? British. Because she, she got a lot of shit going on right now. So I definitely believe that it's British. And the last thing that they posted was this right here. Angel's Boo got into it with Duffy. Now, if y'all don't know who Angel's Boo is, Angel's Boo is Rockstar. Rockstar used to be on Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. Rockstar used to always get into it with a lot of folks on this show. K. Michelle famously cussed his ass out at the reunion that he was on. The, last, the first and last reunion he was at. So, yes, it's not really... Um, it's not really surprising that he'll get into it with some females. Now, with that being said, this is pretty much all the tea that the BBW Inc. Uh, spilled. But they said it was way more tea than that to spill. But I want to know when the show coming out. Jackie Christie keeps saying that the show is still coming. You know, y'all saying that, but where is it at? Because after y'all going to get like a certain web series that I know about. Like, y'all are doing too much. Y'all need to come on and bring, it, bring on the show. Because we've been waiting on it for a long time now. Y'all need to come on with it. Now, 
We keep on hearing a lot about Brooke. We keep on hearing a lot about Angel Brinks. We keep on hearing a lot about Brandy. And we keep hearing a lot about Malaysia. So it seems like those people are the ones that's carrying the season. It looks like Brandy, Brooke, Malaysia, and Angel Brinks are carrying the season. We don't hear that much about Duffy at all. We don't hear that much about her. Um, we don't hear much about Jennifer either. So it's like, okay, so what is Jennifer doing? We've heard a lot more about the twins than Jennifer. So what exactly is she here for? But like I said, a lot of y'all be going up for Jennifer. And I don't know why y'all be going up for her ass. I ain't never seen it for Jennifer. Never have, never will see it for Jennifer. A lot of y'all feel like she's a victim and shit like that. I don't see it at all. She ain't nobody's victim, okay? So I don't know what, what y'all be seeing and doing and looking at, but I don't see it. I don't even know why she's even here, okay? Because she ain't got no storyline either. So I don't know what she here for. Um, Jackie, what I think is going to happen is because she cool with Malaysia, she's going to try to bring everybody together, but still be messy at the same time. You know, it's just a bolder Susie catch them to me. That's what I think she is. I don't know what purpose Duffy is really going to serve here. I don't know what she's going to serve besides being Brandy's sidekick. Because from what I've been told, Brandy is the queen of this season. Brandy is the queen, as she should be. I don't care how y'all feel about Brandy. I love you some Brandy McSeal, honey. I don't care what none of y'all say. I don't care about how none of y'all feel. I love me some Brandy McSeal, okay? Period. I love me some Brandy McSeal. So, um, it is what it is. I, I, I don't mind her being the queen of this season. I really don't. I don't mind her being the queen. Because at the end of the day, like, you know, the way Shawnee and them tried to treat her and shit like that, I just feel like it is what it is. So it's it's just like whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't care nothing about that. I ain't I ain't care nothing about that. I don't care about what nobody gotta say about that. Um I do think it's a little unfortunate at this point that the girls don't want nothing to do with Malaysia. I think it's very unfortunate, but at the same point in time, she brought it on herself. Like, girl, you brought it on yourself. Like, I love, I'm loving this situation. I'm telling you, I'm loving it. They put her ass on ice and she's getting the same damn treatment that she gave OG. She sat up there and put her on ice. She sat there and followed up behind Evelyn and all of them other hoes who didn't even want her on the show. But now she... Now she's getting the same damn treatment all over again. You know what I mean? And now she's getting into fights with Brooke. And now she's getting into it with her ex-best friend, Brandy. Like, and it's to the point to where these girls don't even want to film with her. And it's to the point to where she ain't got nobody to film with now. So she got to film with her family members and Zell. Like, girl, this is what it come down to now. Nobody wants to film with you. Nobody wants to talk. So that means with them saying that Jackie... And the twins are the only ones that's willing to film with her. That means Brooke don't want to film with you. Brandy don't want to film with you. British don't want to film with you. Um, let's see. Um, okay, I said Jennifer Brooke, British. <laughs> um, Duffy, all these Angel Brinks, none of these girls want to film with you. None of these girls want to film with you at all. None of them do. 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 So it is what it is. So it's crazy to me. But like I said, I don't care. Do you? Do you? And do you? And do you? You did yourself a fake. You did yourself. Like you dug yourself a grave because now these girls don't want to have nothing to do with you. Um... Angel Brinks is boring, but it looks like she's going to bring something. I think her relationship is really what's going to carry her. Um, I just feel like Jennifer is a non-factor. I feel like Duffy is a non-factor, but I feel like they only have Jen and Jennifer's in the main cast. And for what? What for? But okay, girl. But that's it. Um, that's pretty much it on this. Um, so I am looking forward to this tenth season of the Basketball Wives. Can't wait to review it. Can't wait for the panel to come together to talk about it. I just can't wait for the season. Okay, so that's pretty much the little droplets of tea that I had about this upcoming season. I hope that I hope that's giving you a little some some. I know it wasn't a lot, but I hope it gave you just enough. Okay, to know what's going on in the season. So with that being said, you guys, this be your boy Scotty by nature. Be sure to like rate 
subscribe, comment, share, and click the notification bell so you can be notified whenever a video drops. If you want to follow me on um, social media, my Twitter and my IG will be down below. But if you want me to follow you back on IG, because I do follow back on IG, be sure to hit me up in the DMs with the hashtag message Team Scotty, and I will definitely follow you back, okay? Now, with that being said, you guys, your boy is out of here. Until my next video, I will holler at y'all later. Peace out.